to connect the CO2, we have this orange little twist. Going to bring down the door and twist it in. To start the CO2 monitoring, we can come up here and hit our CO2 button. It does take a couple seconds for the monitor to take in that CO2 and get a reading. But when it does, there it goes. When it does, it immediately opens up the waveform on the monitor so that you can see it. And if you look next to the SBO2, the purple area, it says ETCO2. There's the number 38, which is your millimeter of mercury reading. You know that this number should be between 35 and 45. And the number below that, it looks like the respiratory rate is 8. So this patient is breathing nice and slow. If we come up to our navigation buttons and highlight the ETCO2 and select it, it brings you to the parameter menu. Here's the ETCO2 alarm. We have the respiratory or breathing rate alarm. The FICO2 alarm. And the no breath alarm. So if they become apneic. If you go into the sweep speed, it allows you to change how you're looking at it, kind of like zooming back. So as we're watching, you're noticing that the waveform is much shorter than it was previously. And I actually prefer to monitor this way because you see more breaths over a longer period of time. If you wish to stop the CO2 monitoring, you can come up to the CO2 button right up here and just click it off and it goes back to your regular display screen.